Hey, Scotty, enough shut eye. Time to get up. Come on. You got to do your crap. Uh, what? A couple more hours of sleep. Oh. No, no, no. Come on. You promised you were going to do that bed craft. Oh, right. I did. Okay. I'll be right there. My first material is going to be da, 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 this tower game, tumbling tower game, quotation marks, small Jenga blocks game, right? <laughs> and I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. So it's 36 of these blocks for just a dollar. And this is going to be the starting material for our beds. What I'm going to do is take those blocks, right? And I have my Elmer's glue all, and I'm just going to glue the blocks together. And this will be the main structure of the bed, right? Everything else will just be attached to that. So there we go, super easy. All right, so here is my bed, right? What I'm gonna do is I use popsicle sticks. I'm just gonna kind of measure the width of the bed and cut it with these trimmers here. And that'll be the foot, footer and header of the bed, right? So I just need some more pieces. I'll just measure that from the piece I cut. Easy peasy. Trim it. Okay, got my pieces, good. Now I'm just going to glue those to the bed. So I'll just put the header and footer on there. And then I'm going to glue the uh, another piece to the header to make it double tall there. You may have to hold it for a minute so it stands up, and then you're good to go. Now I'm going to put some kind of posters on the bed here. And I, this is just a barbecue stick I'm cutting. So once I get the height I want, I'll just cut those. And that's for the base of the bed. Foot of the bed. Just glue those to the edge. And then I'm going to do longer ones for the header. Just measure that. Trim and glue. Now I'm using white glue instead of hot glue because it's just it's just less messy when you're dealing with this kind of small stuff, right? And it's wood so it glues really well with the glue all. All right, I'll just let that dry up. I only had to let the bed frame dry a couple minutes, right? And now I'm just going to use some TP and just use a single sheet. Fold it over. Cut it. And then just I'll wrap it on the bed. Put some full strength glue on there. Just make the bed. Make the widow bed. Just wrap it over like that. Cool. Now I'm going to use 50% water, 50% white glue, and just soak that, right? And flatten it out a little bit with the brush. It'll uh, pucker up a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. Then I'll use the other sheet here. And that's going to be my blankie on the bed. So I'll put the blankie on the bed. And then I'll put the white glue solution there. Lower it there. And I'm going to use another piece here to make the fold where the blanket is more prominent. So let's cut that excess full strength glue. With the 50% water, 50% white glue, and there we go. Nice fold. Now I'm going to make a pillow, a little, little pillow. Just fold some up. Now I'm going to make a little pillow. I'll just fold some up. Snip it off. Glue. Stick it on there, water down glue, smush it down a little bit, not too much. There we go, we got a nice bed all ready for our miniatures. Yeah, now we'll just let that dry. All right, here is my bed, and you can see I spray painted that flat black. And I'm gonna paint the headers and footers uh, with a dark brown, and then while it's still wet, kind of mix in a lighter brown to get some highlights. But here you're going to see, too, that I've changed up the bed somewhat. So you can see I've got different headers and footers. I've got different details uh, and all that kind of thing. And basically what I did is I used different wood shapes. I used beads. I used charms. And you can find those, you know, all kinds of different places. 
Uh, I really recommend getting these uh, wood shapes because you can use them in all different kinds of projects. I've used them in wagons. I've used them in other terrain, that kind of thing. You can use them in so many different places because they're pre-cut. So you don't have to worry. That just saves that, that step of having to cut all these shapes. So that's really nice and they're really economical actually. So I'd highly recommend them. After the, uh, the, the headers and footers dry, I just uh, wash so it's just black with a little bit of soap in it and water. And that really helps bring out those details that you kind of painstakingly put on there. Now when I glue these things together, I uh, the, be the plastic beads and the charms, I used goop uh, because that will really stick to anything. Goop or E6000, that's the glue I use for that kind of stuff. With these beds too, you can get some great alternate styles. So here's some elvish beds that I did, right? And I just used this uh, driftwood color. But then what I did was I washed it with a blue-gray and that kind of gave a nice shading uh, without being black. And then I used a mushroom color mixed with white kind of for the highlights of the bed. And I got a really nice look to these. They don't look like those traditional kind of wooden beds. It looks like a, like a white wood or a light wood. And I really feel that it looks like an elvish style. So yeah, go crazy. Have all kinds of different styles and colors for your beds. Once those headboards dried, I just started painting the sheets. So I painted it with a cream color, right? And then after that dried, I used a tan as a wash, just watered down tan acrylic paint. And then after that, I used a dry brush of white. So it gave nice, clean white sheets, unless you maybe want dirty sheets, and then you could use uh, some more brown kind of wash if you wanted. <laughs> maybe orc beds, right? To finish off the beds, it's just a combination of deciding what color you want the blanket to be. So in this case, tan. And then, you know, either a wash or a highlight or both. So depending on what kind of effect you're going for, you know, with the other, other beds, you might want to have different colors of blankets to denote, you know, status and that kind of thing. You know, with the elven bed, you can get uh, interesting with it, some interesting colors, just the same type of stuff, uh, washes and dry brushing, and you get a really nice effect on those beds. As a last touch with the beds, I want to add some metallic accents. So with this bed, I added some gold. And then with these elven beds here, I added this uh, metallic taupe. So really cool to those uh, charms that I added to the bed. So really cool accent, I think. All right, friends, let's take a look at the result of all this fun crafting. Hey friend, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon if you want extra DM Scotty content. If you like, just want to see more and more, I have extra content over at my Patreon. A lot of backlog, so if you're new to being a patron, you're gonna see a lot of stuff, so very cool. Also, check out my other videos. I have hundreds of other videos for you guys to watch. And also, I have a new venture here with uh, Quest Givers I'm doing with DMG Info, Gareth at DMG Info. And we're writing modules. Go to questgivers.com, we're writing cool modules. I'm doing pictures of my terrain in the modules and that kind of thing. So super fun for me. And I really like what we're putting out there as far as content. So check that out and uh, see what great and cool modules we have. They're also system agnostic. So that means that you can run it with any system, D&D, &D, Savage Worlds, uh, Dungeon uh, Dungeon World, anything like that. So check them out, uh, questgivers.com. See you guys for the next one very soon.